Hey lovies, welcome to my channel, Craft Away with May. I'm so glad to have you all here. Welcome to my old and new. We are going to be doing 10, you heard me right, 10 super easy and fun gift ideas right before the holidays. So if you ran out of ideas or you're just trying to think of something quick, fun, and easy to do, this will be suitable for all family, friends, and co-workers and beyond, guys. So sit tight and I hope you guys enjoy what I put together for you. But before we get started or really get into the video, if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. Just note those comments are only desired and not required just because I absolutely, absolutely love chatting with you guys after each video. And also, guys, you know it's about that time of the month where we go ahead and I get together with my girl, Jenny, from Lovely Moments Creating, and we're bringing these ideas to you. So make sure you check out her information in my description box below. Stop by and tell her I said hello and thank you for joining me on this journey today. So we're going to start with this first gift idea. I thought it'd be super cute to do a cereal theme basket, if you will. And as you saw there, I had two trays, two bowls. I picked up the cereal, the um, cereal from Dollar Tree as well, the oatmeal. And I personally like grits in the morning. I do consider it a hot cereal. Some people don't really feel it because of the gritty texture. But I was raised on it and I love it. But you guys have to let me know. Are you pro salt, pepper, butter? Or are you butter and sugar in your grits? I cannot stand butter and sugar in my grits. Just again because this is what we raised on. But you have to let me know. Leave me in the comment which one that you prefer if you're a grit lover. All right, so then I had this really cute mason jar that I picked up from Dollar Tree as well. As you saw there, I used some stickers, put Got Milk on there. Those stickers I did get from Amazon, guys, but you can get some from Dollar Tree. They have a whole array of stickers. I got this milk um, that I picked up at my local grocery store. It's called Ralph's, but I believe in a lot of other states, it's called Kroger's, they are affiliate, but it's the non-refrigerated kind, as I was saying. Um, and this is just to add to the theme of it, and so it doesn't go bad, of course. So then I'm just going in with some of my snowflake ribbon that I picked up from Hobby Lobby just to add a little something to the mason jar. I didn't want to add any more than the words because I really wanted them to see the milk through there. <laughs> I thought that was super cute. Then next I have these cereal bars that came six in a pack at Dollar Tree. Thought that was super cool. They are by Kellogg actually. So they had a lot of name brand stuff there. I was really excited to see that. I have a couple of K cups. I picked these up from Rouse as well. They were on clearance for $3.60. So it was like 12 in a box. So it was a win for that one. <laughs> and then next I'm just taking the um, clear basket wrap or bag that you pick up from Dollar Tree giving that a cover tying it off cutting it down fluffing it out as you can see there i am going to add in this really cute um santa claus buckle ribbon that i picked up from hobby lobby along with um i don't think i added the the pick here i think i just went with the ribbon and it was super simple guys you if you've been here with me you know bow making is not my jam even with the bodabra whatever else my brain does not compute <laughs> bow making <laughs> uh, so but I am determined to to stay the course and eventually get it one day um, so I just go with the most simple of bows I can do all right so this basket I am calling reservation for two I thought it'd be super cute now this is also a good idea if you want to give someone for Valentine's Day I know we're barely getting to Christmas right like actual Christmas Day but in the world of crafting we're also starting to think about Valentine's Day although a lot of people don't decorate for Valentine's Day they do a lot of gift giving so I thought this would be really really super cute um, to put on there and say reservation for two so this way you have a gift idea for both Christmas and Valentine's Day I'm taking this little hanger sign I recently found this in a pack of six at Hobby Lobby I pray they have some more it was very inexpensive um, number $3.99 I got them for 40% off I think I'm adding in a bow. They do separate. So you can put pictures in here. You can paint them as you saw I did. You can add stickers to them. You can decoupage them. I've done that on them too. And there you have it, guys. I absolutely love this basket. So you have to let me know what you think about our reservation for two. <laughs> All right. And here is our single serve <laughs> breakfast. So I know you guys have seen these huge cups at Dollar Tree. I absolutely love them. I had a whole series of them. They sold very well. Um, 
when I made them, I put a lot of little sarcastic sayings on them and they flew. So it's a good opportunity too, guys, if you're looking to sell. Um, in here, I did use, um, I'm taking a pack of these utensils. They already come pre-packaged or pre-arranged from Dollar Tree. It comes three in a pack. I love them because they do mimic real um, silverware. From my Cricut Joy, I printed out the word what because some people tend to judge you when you're an adult and you like to eat cereal. So I want to give them a little attitude like what? Like what? What's your problem? <laughs> and I do love me some Frosted Flakes. I wish I could have threw a banana in here. Are you guys pro banana in your Frosted Flakes? I am. I know bananas are not the best for us, but I do love my bananas and Frosted Flakes. <laughs> I don't remember a long time ago, they actually had the banana flavored ones. And I remember my sister and I, we loved them. But they never brought them back, at least here. And all I did, guys, I added another one of those cereal bars, added the little utensils to the back. I also added utensils to the first one as well, guys. I just didn't show it. But I did, um, because it comes through in a pack, so I did two in there, and I did one in here. And as you guys saw, I took one of the little goodie bags, covered it up to keep it from being all, you know, getting touched and everything. So that's what I did there. And then I took one of the hot cocoa um balls that you just drop into hot water or milk and it melt well i think it's milk i'm sorry you drop it in there in terms of hot cocoa and that's it for this basket i thought this was super super cute now this is something you could definitely give to um i'm saying a, an adult because i love my cereal too <laughs> um, my fun cereal or you can give it to a teenager or you know a co-worker even that you know who loves to eat cereal in the morning so the options are endless here with this and i also use one of the dollar tree little miniature serving trays guys and this in for this i thought this was super cute and easy and such a fun and playful way to give someone something really useful for the holiday next up we have this basket i had in my stash i did pick this up from hobby lobby um it was 7.99 originally but i've I think I got it this year guys but I don't think I even paid two dollars for it so I forget how much it was off on clearance but I know I did not pay more than two dollars for it next I'm taking some of this burlap ribbon I picked this up at I don't know I don't know where I picked that ribbon up I think it might have been Hobby Lobby or it could have been Michael's I don't know now I'm taking one of the burlap bows it was pre-made ordered those off of Amazon a huge bag of them for like six seven bucks some of this really cute tissue paper it has um, several different styles of briefs on them I thought it was really really cute and what we're gonna make here this is gonna be our muffin basket so if you have a baker you know who loves to cook um, or loves to bake I think this would be super cute I did pick all these things up from Dollar Tree including the little jams I thought they were so so cute I might actually go get back go get some more for myself <laughs> One was like a wild berry jam and the other one was like a strawberry vanilla. I was like, that sounds really, really bomb. Really good. <laughs> Another one of those milks that you don't have to refrigerate. I did put some K-cups at the bottom of there because who doesn't like their coffee and muffins? And of course, you can also use hot cocoa here as well. And that's it for this basket, guys. Guys, so next up, we have this little basket I picked up from Dollar Tree. And I have these coasters from Michael's. We're going to go ahead and make a candle basket. Now, these two candles I'll be using, they are in the scented um, smells. They have the scent of Cabernet as well as Moscow Mule. And I thought these are super cute. I do believe Jenny uh, did these on one of her other videos. And I thought it was super cute to give to someone who is a couple. And again, this can be used for Christmas or Valentine's Day, guys. I thought to myself, how cute would it be to use the coasters as... Um, either candle holders or they could use them for actual true coasters and I'm just going to go ahead and put them together using some tape I did not hot glue them because it is a set of two but what I am doing here is taking some of this Christmas ribbon to wrap around them just to tie into the Christmas holiday but it's totally not necessary because they are a match I'm not gluing down the miniature wood squares here from Dollar Tree I'm just using them to give the basket a little bit of a slant or slope if you will taking in some of this um, wrapping paper I love this plaid color on here or print rather and that's pretty much it I didn't add anything on the inside which afterwards I thought maybe I should have put maybe a flower or something but I do end up embellishing it on the outer side or um, um, outer parts of this I am going to go in with a plaid um, 
stocking you see there. I thought that was super cute. Part of some ornaments I got from Dollar Tree, as well as a red um, flower. It has a little bit of glitter on it. I cut it off of a pick I picked up from Hobby Lobby last year. And that is it for this piece, guys. How cute and simple is this? Um, oh, actually, I did decide in to <laughs> decide to add in one of those sticker ornaments, and that's it now for this piece. <laughs> All right, guys. I think somebody would really love that. Next up, we're going to take one of the little miniature crates from Dollar Tree. We're going to go in with these two chicken noodle soups. I'm going to do them back to back. Tying in a little of that peppermint ribbon around the base, adding in a pick, as well as two sets of the utensil sets to the back of this. And I'm going to give that a wrap. And that is a wrap, literally, for this gift idea. Again, super simple, super cute. Next up, we're going to do a gingerbread basket. I have this gingerbread paper that I've been wanting to use, this rice paper that I ordered off of Amazon. I thought it'd be super cute to make a gingerbread cocoa, uh, coaster for our cocoa cup. <laughs> and I'm just going to do some simple decoupaging. If you want to see the full technique of decoupaging, you can check out many of my other videos. But this I keep pretty simple using my water pen to separate it. Adhere it to the wooden piece that I painted in white paint by Waverly. The wood piece did come from woodpeckerscrafts.com. I always have their link in my description box below for any type of discount. And I usually only promote the ones, um, items that I use from there. Not any of the larger items, but in comparison to um, Dollar Tree items, sometimes when you're buying multiples, they do come out a lot cheaper than Dollar Tree, in my opinion, in my pocketbook. <laughs> I'm just burning away the excess that, you know, where the Mod Podge did not touch. Sending that pe the little pieces away. And that's it for this. I thought it was super cute. Next, we're going to start on the cocoa glass or cup that I picked up from Dollar Tree. It has been around for quite a few years now. My first time decoupaging on glass, but I want to give this kind of a frosted look. Uh, Mod Podge is non-toxic, but I would seal it and treat it and advise anyone that I give this to of how to wash it. Next, I'm going in with some cinnamon hot cocoa that I picked up from Target, one of the hot cocoa balls from Dollar Tree. Also, they had gingerbread cookie mix by Pillsbury at Dollar Tree. Yes, you heard me right. And speculose cookie butter. Hello, somebody talk to me, okay? This is the gift basket that I want. Somebody please gift it to me. I took one of my little containers, Pour some marshmallows in there and this is all the things that scream winter and christmas guys this is absolutely adorable don't forget to check out jenny's information in my description box below guys and tell her i said hello okay next up i have this vintage santa claus sheet it is also rice paper i just want to use the merry christmas piece off of this for this particular gift idea i got this um oval um over round from Michaels. I painted it in the color white by Waverly. And I know you guys asked to see some of the painting, but guys, with 10 items, I just could not do it. So please forgive me, okay? And I just went in, did the same decoupage technique that I did on the previous um, items. And then here, Dollar Tree had these really cute super activity like art sets and I thought this was super cute at my church we do give toys every year so I wanted to really dish this up and not just give it just the basic toy so I'm going in and I'm doing these little art kits and they have like five or six different styles for boys and girls and I thought this was really really neat and so it gives you all the little supplies you need to get creative and artsy I took a little journal book um some gel pens a cute little pen with the rhinestone on the tip I'm going to go in with some little goodies, and I'm just going to add that to the box. I love Sour Patch, so I hope whoever gets this little Sour Patch is tip. <laughs> the Sour Patch Kids, I love. <laughs> That's my thinking candy, y'all. <laughs> and so I'm just adding in a little dab of glue here in case they want to take that off and use the book binder for actual books or something else outside of Christmas. I am putting on some stickers, not really adding any glue to the back of those because they already have adhesion on them. And that's it guys I'm waiting to wrap it up but here it is once it's done next up this is my favorite of today guys I absolutely love this this crate I picked up from Hobby Lobby but the two coffee mugs I did pick up from Dollar Tree 
I have these rub-on transfers that I ordered off of Amazon. Huge pack of them. I want to say about 10 or 12 sheets that you get for... It depends on what uh, season you're going with. But they range anywhere from like $7.99, $12.99. But you get a grip of them, guys. And I thought, how beautiful would it be to add these deer on here? Because I love the color of these cups. That's what I was drawn to. And I think this is just the most stunning, affordable gift. Like, guys, it looks so high-end to me. I'm going in with some K-Cups here. And one is from, like, uh, Starbucks. And the other one is, like, called the Donut Shop. I picked those up at uh, Walmart. And then I'm going in with some Monk Fruit. And I use that as an alternative to sugar. It's better for you, it, you know, especially with your sugar levels and things like that. Dollar Tree recently had this ducking chocolate. So ducking donuts chocolate. I was like, oh, this would be so cute in this basket. And I also love to add like caramels and chocolates to my coffees too. So I put in a few of those there as you saw in the bottom. And this basket is called Brew for Two. Again, this is something super cute for Christmas or Valentine's Day. So start thinking about that, guys. I think this is really, really a cute, cute idea very high-end looking guys i absolutely love this again this is a gift i would love to receive so i take it another one of those hanging little wood pieces i'm going to attach that to the front not using a lot of glue because again if they want to switch it up and take off the the thing they could definitely do that adding in some embellishments i do end up moving the chocolate bar or chocolate pieces to the um i do them vertical instead of horizontal so you can see the deer on the front all right, so we're rounding down to our last two items. And these last two, they're pretty much the same concept. It's just the preference of two different people. So this is for my team at work. Um, and I'm doing one for a female, one for a male. So as you see, I'm taking one of the little um, uh, toiletry little cups that Dollar Tree recently put out with some bubble baths. And I'm putting in some little goodies in this particular one, like a covered um, yogurt coat covered cranberries espresso beans um brownie brittle what else i put in there like a hot um eye patch that's a hot and cold eye patch um, i'm going to personalize it with their name for the ladies and then i add in some other little fun goodies here oh they had like a friends uh, little uh, coffee cup that says friends it's by friends and then it's like all coffee flavors. So I got a couple of those, threw those in there. <laughs> the reindeer and Santa Claus like finger ring pops, threw that in there. And I thought this was like the cutest idea. Again, this is just a friendly gesture. And this would totally work for a co-worker or just a last minute gift in general. Even for, again, we're thinking young adults, you know, teenagers, things like that. Now, one of, I'm taking one of these money holder cards. I do love to give uh, scratches for Christmas. That's just my preference. I know, right? What if one of them wins? What about me? I always tell them there is a 10% purchaser's fee attached. <laughs> but I add that to this. And I'm not going to show these in the final reveal reveal because, because um, it was hard to see them through the plastic. So you will see an up close though part of it after I finish this one. So this one is more towards a young young guy. He loves to work out. He loves energy drinks. Again, the espresso beans. He loves the little jams and things like that. So that's what I put into his basket. And there you guys have it. That's everything, <laughs> guys. And here is the final reveal, guys. How do you like these items? Would you try them? Do you think they're pretty easy to do? Let me know if you have a favorite, guys. I would love to hear from you, but I had so much fun doing this, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and I hope you drew some inspiration as well. If you are still here, loveys, taking this ride with me, thank you so much. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Please remember to stop by Jenny's channel and tell her I said hello, and thank you for collabing with me today. I appreciate it so much. And also, guys, please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Because remember, guys, I'm trying to get to that 2,500. And once we get there, and we can do it by the end of the year, even if we, whenever we do it, I'm going to do a very, very nice giveaway. It is going to be something totally different than what I've done in the past. And you guys are going to love it. I promise you that much, okay? <laughs> so remember, please, please, please share subscribe like comment 
all of those things because that's what helps my channel grow and of course i would appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and until the next video guys be safe be kind happy crafting your days away and for those i don't get to talk to before the holiday merry christmas